Welcome everyone back to another bold cast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Hunter Hunter episode 47, Propica versus Uvo Geen. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Any predictions? They're gonna fight. Cool. <laughs> Great prediction. Let's go. Leave a like and subscribe. Check out Patreon to see the next week's episodes early. Possibly more. If you check out the uncut tier, you can get better audio and visual, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Condition X and X condition. An <laughs> ominous moon. That's so gross. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, they actually went out there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> お前の年には特別な意味しが感じられる。その質問に答えるには引き返さなければならないことがある。殺した者たちのことを覚えているか。ほぼ<笑> Just so insignificant, yeah. doesn't even give a shit. <laughs> oh, why did they turn up the animation? I love that they're just flying around like that. This is a fight, dude. <laughs> That attack should have crippled him for yeah. life. Yeah. busted up his arm. You have no idea. He doesn't need his left arm. Oh, he's fine. Yes, <laughs> 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 How is he doing it? <laughs> you say that to this guy? Is that the best you got? <laughs> As a matter of fact, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's out speeding yeah. a master enhancer. Oh my god, he's so badass in front of the moon. It's like matching with his eyes. He's fucking him up. Yeah. <laughs> he's not there. I wonder if he trained some enhancer abilities as well, because that's what he originally wanted to be. Finishing his sentence for him. 
Is that right? <laughs> There's a bunch of more of you out there. Mm. That's smart. In. Watch out. Same arm. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Didn't think you were smart enough <laughs> for such a strategic move. He's already chained up. <laughs> <laughs> I still love that he did that he does that. It's so awesome. <laughs> He's fucking with him the whole time. <laughs> He's not fucking around. <laughs> They're like opposites. Yeah. He's <laughs> taking out his contacts. And it matches his earring, too. <laughs> For nothing, you're tied up. <laughs> that was I his full power. You love I what? love how he, he's like, I, I want to be in like the middle of nowhere because you'll be screaming. <laughs> and, he's, and he's just yeah, like, sure. yeah. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Emperor time! Holy shit. Isn't that fucking crazy? Oh my god! Isn't that so cool? Isn't that so yeah. fucking cool? Oh my god. When he when his eyes are red, he has control over he can do He can do anything. literally whatever he wants. What an absolute badass. Overpower. Yeah. But he has to be really fired up yeah. for that to happen. So <laughs> 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 what do you know? <laughs> well, I'll just conjure very specific chains, you idiot. <laughs> Let me just, yeah, exactly. Let me just tell you what you want to hear and you'll come back. <laughs> Yeah, 
それを心に誓うんだ遵守するとこのルールが厳しいほど使う技は爆発的な威力を発揮する普段の念能力の補強が足し算だが原付の念能奥義は掛け算だ、うん、強さが何倍にも膨れ上がるその鎖にルールを守れる範囲はただし言っておくがこれは正反対の大技モロハの剣だもし誓いを破れば反動で念能力を失う危険があることを忘れるな That's cool as well that he set his condition to die. Because the、That's、other option,、stronger. the other, well,、yeah. the, well, if you break the condition, you lose your nen. But then if you, that happens, you might as well just be dead if you're whole, if, like, if this is your life's goal and you can't complete it without your nen. Yeah.、Um, so, so, yeah, I like that. It's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what happens. If you're a specialist,、yeah. I don't know. I think it's different depending on the type of person you are. Heard of what your power is. The swelling. Is that heal? Healing thumb. That's awesome. <laughs> Did he already do that before? I wonder. I guess not. He fucked it up, but he hammered it again. If he's the physically strongest one. Huh. It activates Zetsu so it,、yeah. it saps their Nen. And that's good because then the other ones wouldn't be able to sense them around either. If it can't work on him, or if it works on him, it works on everybody else. Yeah. Kravka is just incredible. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's just <laughs> experimenting. He's a lab rat. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It's、really getting a taste of his own medicine here. <laughs> He doesn't enjoy it. No. It's really messing with him. Oh my god! Judgment to change. Wow.
I love that like black and white with the red there. そして、どうしたの?ずっと連絡よこさないの。ああ。よかった。そちらの状況は部屋で見て。そうそう。ボスの父親は電光の関係で到着が深夜になったのよ。そうか。わかった。Runs into Gon. Hey, I'm gonna need his body. Can you tell me where it is? They go and dig it back up. Yeah. They all look so badass. <laughs> He's so good over there, he knows exactly what's going on. <laughs> Holy shit. Kropika versus Uvogin. That was intense. I I kind of wish that he had had his eyes, like his contacts out earlier. So then one of the shots of him in front of the moon, because mm. because the moon was very reminiscent of, of his eyes. It would have been so cool if like one of those ones where he was like leaped up in front of the moon that his eyes were like matching. Yeah. That would have been really cool. But oh my God, he, he's, he's literally thought of everything. Yeah. And then when he go, when he like activates his eyes, he c can literally do whatever he wants on top of his super well thought out uh, chains that yeah. are the the chains are already almost enough. And then he basically just made it so that he does doesn't really need anything else. He doesn't even need weapons because his entire body is so strong. And now that he now that he can use some enhancer stuff, and this is just a huge win for him because he wasn't originally he wasn't too pleased about being a conjurer, and now, as it turns out, it's literally the best possible thing that he could have ever had. Not really. You don't it's think like so? what what gives him all the strength is his Kurta bloodline. Is yeah. his ability to become a but specialist? But I'm saying th that it, it's like the it, his chains and what he did with that is possibly the best thing to have on top, like active at all times that he can use without you know uh, of activating his eyes because mm -hmm. it allows him to trap people mm -hmm. and it, it's also deceptive because it tricks them that he is a manipulator when he's not, he's a conjurer. Yeah, so they expect so, different So things. they expect something different and then he can trick them again in the middle of the fight when he becomes a specialist and can do everything. So it's, so that's why I'm saying so it's, it's the best thing to, to be have because he's tricking them on multiple levels. It's like, oh, he's a manipulator. Actually, he's a conjurer. Oh, he's just a conjurer. Oh no. He's actually everything. Yeah. Um, and because because he was a conjurer, because if he was an enhancer, and just that, or just that, um, and then when he could become a specialist again, still, it wouldn't be as good. Because an enhancer, like it's it's not as, it's not as about tricking people or um, you know luring them in. It's it, it's about being strong, mm -hmm. which is better as his secondary thing. Yeah. So yeah, it's awesome. I love I love getting this flashback with with his teacher again, when he's training. Cause I and, and I'm glad that we're getting that because I felt really ripped off when we we just got one shot of his training. Yeah. One little scene and it was so badass. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see more of this. And then we just didn't. Yeah. So I love that. I love that his teacher was, you know, helping him out and and really figured out what was going on. And yeah, I don't know. It's just, it, 
And I, I, the resolve is so good. And I love how it fucks him up so badly during this fight to be to be that violent and yeah that emotionally like it's so in such he doesn't in contrast enjoy it to, at all. To, to our two other characters who we've seen you know beat people up and stuff not in this intense of a fight but uh gone and kiloa just love they like fighting is kind of fun for them they and don't enjoy brutality no, but, they, but they don't feel much they're, from they're it. they're not they're not this deeply affected and and um you, just like the the feeling of like punching someone to and hurting them is like what the f like yeah. yeah it's like he's, oh he my god he comes disgusted with himself yeah. yeah he doesn't like you it's, it's the and, same and, it's the thing that he's trying to destroy and the thing that he hates and he mm -hmm. has to become which that which is why to... the condition of he can only use this on the phantom troop is he's forcing himself to basically like only use his powers for against good the against <laughs> against the worst of the worst because yeah. that's that's kind of what they are they're horrible it, it, it like elevates the extre extremity of it like like the mm -hmm. extremeness of his of his condition like the fact that these guys are are have done such terrible things yeah and he's you know sacrificing so much and putting so much on the line to defeat like the worst possible people mm -hmm. like it it makes it a stronger uh condition and it also, uh, in a way, kind of protects himself because it allows him to never even have the opportunity to get carried away and go too far and hurt yeah. someone that doesn't deserve it. Mm -hmm. So I, I like that as well. And I love I love his outfit change and just his earring like dancing around in the in the light is so cool. I, I, I love I love this it. This is the, badass. Like this everything was so, so cool. Badass. He has like his healing thing. He literally thought of everything. It's so good. It's like. Okay, what am I gonna do in the fight? I'm gonna get hurt. Well, I'll heal myself. Yeah. What? Am I, and then I'll impose a, a chain that kills them if they don't tell me the truth, so that I can extract truths out of them until they die. Mm -hmm. it's, they say comparison is the thief of joy, and I think that's only true when you're watching worse things than you've <laughs> seen before, and things that are wor are created <laughs> worse, like and are created by dumb people who don't stick to their own rules or who have an ulterior motive or are trying to fit a square peg into a round hole of their story and just want an outcome to happen so they sacrifice the logic of their world. That's something that I really like about Hunter x Hunter because um, comparing Hunter x Hunter and stuff like, even fights like this to say Naruto or other shonen series, it doesn't become the thief of joy. <laughs> it, it, it elevates this because yeah. It, it's it's like yeah it's, you know comparing different things if you're watching something that's worse or consuming something that's worse yes it will make it can make it seem worse or you'll be more heightened to its flaws but when you watch something that's actually good it's not the thief of joy it's the it's the <laughs> genie of joy it grants you joy because mm -hmm. it's so much better when you're aware of how satisfying and how well thought out everything yeah. is and how smart the characters are and how high the stakes are uh with it just being a fight between two people like it feels so much more serious and so much more impactful and the fight is so much better thought out and the powers are better thought out the tactics of the battle the way the powers work um the way the characters interact in this moment is mm -hmm. such is so much higher quality than what you'll find in normal shonen so that's why it's stuff like this is it, that's why I compare things why, why it's worth it to compare stuff like this to stuff like Naruto or Dragon Ball or whatever you want or whatever thing that you like to, to another thing that you like or another thing that you dislike to like to elevate the thing that you like because it's not always the thief of, of joy it's only the thief of joy when you watch shit when you're watching something good it makes it better and this is a case where that's true because you know I, I think that watching something like this before seeing something like Naruto and seeing how that series kind of fails in a lot of ways, um, it, uh, it, it robs you of sort of the extra enjoyment, even though this is technically like created like slightly before, yeah. um, Naruto started being published. Um, it's, it's, it, having a context and having seen like another long running series, another sh battle shonen mm -hmm. type thing with very similar setup, very similar rules, but different in slight different ways. Um, being able to compare them and being able to notice how, what this show is doing right makes it better. 
Yeah. You know, because so, so, because like a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, don't compare things, just enjoy things for what they are, basically turn your brain I off. Think, but I think having a greater understanding or having more things to draw from and compare to, it, it really elevates the series. It makes you see like that the author is sticking to the logic and the rules that they have while still being mm -hmm. able to have big reveals like Emperor Time, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. and have big, like for, for a series that doesn't, ha hasn't had a lot of big, like just fights. Like there's been Gon versus Hisoka and this, and mm -hmm. that's pretty much it for like the whole show so far. Yeah. You know, so for a show like this, who that is, is usually finding a way not to have the big climactic battle and the big fight for it to deliver on it and for it for it to hit so hard like this one. It's why I really respect this, not only the series, but this whole encounter in general, because it's a perfect example of like the long con of, of waiting, mm -hmm. waiting like, you know, uh, for the big climactic battle and, um, and, and, and sticking to what you set up and, and thinking about your series as you're creating it, not just trying to elicit a certain feeling in the audience, but actually trying to do that through um, like proper planning and uh, forethought into your characters and who they are and what they would do. It's just, it shows care and the fact that we can compare it to something else makes it better. Mm -hmm. It's something that I think about a lot with this show and what, what, what I've, something I've been thinking about a lot recently of, of the whole comparison is the thief of joy. It's mm -hmm. only true if you're watching shit. <laughs> um, was it? Sorry, I got a little bit distracted. I really loved, like, there's so many good shots in this fight. Like, it, the, 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 there's so much crazy stuff happening, but just, you know, di different, just like, s like almost still images of Kropika and, um, Uvogin as well, like, just both, like, there's just such, like, striking imagery throughout the whole fight with the red moon and... The auras are different colors. That's the first so time we've good. seen the auras be a different color. Well, we saw his, uh, different... In the previous yeah. fight? I don't think it was... I don't yeah, it was. It was? When, at one point when he, like, really... Unleashed his big yeah. bang attack, big bang impact. But Kropka was yellow, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Yeah, I... I, but the aura was different depending mm, on the nature that he was using, basically, mm, or the different thing. Like his healing thumb was green, yeah. and the the middle finger was yellow. Mm -hmm. I I also was gonna say I really like Uvo Green as like a villain as an opponent because we see him. He's he's like the the big kind of s silly over the top kind of dumb character, except he's not actually that dumb. He, he, you know, it, it, when he needs to come that's up. That's not his defining that's, character. Yeah, it's, it's not like, oh, he's fighting, but he's also dumb. And we're going to remind you that he's stupid. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I just feel like he was, he was a, he felt like a real person, a real evil person mm -hmm. who just, he, he doesn't remember his, the, those people that he's killed just because he's killed so many people and just doesn't care. And it doesn't seem like, oh, I'm, he's specifically not remembering for any reason other than that, you know, he's just killed so many people, but then he does remember when he sees the eyes mm -hmm. and it like, he's immediately like, oh yeah, I remember that now. I don't know. Just the, the way it all played out was really good. And the, the, the setup for him was good as well. Cause we see him, you know, just like flying s stuff around and everything. And then in the one versus one mm -hmm. battle, it, it was another level. Yeah. This and is I'm sick. excited. And I love Kropka's reasoning for going after him first and how it was the perfect opportunity to test everything out. Yeah. Because he's like the most physically mm -hmm. strong. He uh, wants to fight alone. And he's by himself. Yeah. yeah. He's by himself. He's the most physically strong. And if he can take him down, then he gets a chance to test everything out before he goes up against opponents that you know, their technique relies more on strategy or being in team or mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's other things to he's it other than just limits. fighting. Yeah. He's testing the limit, the outer limits before he has to like be way more strategic with mm -hmm. each individual person and try to figure out their powers. Yeah. And yeah, it's kind of OP that he can put a condition on somebody else. Like that's one of his powers where he yeah. can, he, he uses his pinky to bind them mm -hmm. and it, it, uh, it, he can put a condition on them and if they don't follow it, they die. Yeah. That's like a huge, crazy ability. But yeah, I, I, I guess it's almost like the one that like, um, the sensing, yeah. is that the ring finger? Yeah. It's all, it's kind of similar to that, how it can detect other people. It's, it's Badass. awesome. Badass. <laughs> Leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.